Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 13th of 2022. Well, it is titled Flying Saucer Crash Lands in Utah Desert. So what do we see here? Well, here, not a UFO crashing into the desert of Utah, but back in 2004, the Genesis return capsule, which was bringing back particles from the solar wind that were captured, uh, was returning to Earth. And as it came through Earth's atmosphere, unfortunately, its parachute did not open as expected, and therefore it ended up crashing in instead of having a relatively soft landing. So fortunately, it was able to still be able to recover a lot of the samples that were there and were still in a good enough samples, sam- in a good condition to be able to study. Now, why would we want to study parts of the solar wind? Well, these are particles leaving the sun, and they normally don't strike Earth because they are deflected, pushed away by Earth's magnetic field. Some of them do strike Earth and give us the aurora that we often see, but typically the vast majority of them are just pushed away from Earth and out into space. However, it is helping us to study things like the composition of the sun and how the abundance of the of the elements vary throughout the solar system. So giving us a chance and a clue uh, as to looking back billions of years to when the sun and planets were forming. And it gives us a better look into what happened four or five billion years ago as the sun was forming and then right after that as the planets began to form. So we study some of these very early pieces, the solar wind or pieces of sun's atmosphere, which again are essentially unchanged because all of the activity in the sun goes on in its core. The outer layers are just a transport mechanism for bringing energy to the surface. And therefore, they are pretty much unchanged from when the sun formed five billion years ago. So being able to study those, even with the crash landing that we had here, is helpful in learning more about the sun. And it's the same reason that we look at some of the samples of asteroids, what we call primitive asteroids, and try to study those to really look and understand what the early, early solar system was like, giving us a better understanding of how it formed and hopefully helping us to better understand our solar system today. So that was our picture of the day for November 13th of 2022. It was titled Flying Saucer Crash Lands in Utah Desert. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.